my agenda, huh? Well, I, I honestly, I mean, once I got in here, I just didn't know what topic we were on. Mm. It's just been going a little bit all over the place. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's normally how it goes, but I mean. We're conversationally I, fluid. Yeah. Um, Softy? What is going on, Bradley? What would you like to know about my agenda? Well, where would you want to start? Um, I think that's going to be left up to you. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't know what you mean by my agenda. Well, I'm the guest. I, I need to know what the moderator is oh, doing here. Fuck sake. I, I'm, yeah, I'm just here. To, I'm just here talking shit. If if <laughs> yeah, I, I that, like you, that's Pat. that's that's what I look. <laughs> like, I'm here talking shit. I I imagine me and Kai's agenda uh, aligns somewhat. Yeah, if I was say, like me and Softies right would like align, so then it's like a two v two. But like we're not like battling, but like it's. I don't feel like you know one v two. You don't feel as much as like attacked or like you got to like play defensive or something. Yes. All right. Well, how about how about this? Let's phrase this a different way. What is something that you have objected to that you would like to discuss? What did we leave off before we joined? Uh, we fucking flew all over the place. You're just going to have to pick one. Throw one at the dartboard. Yeah, I mean, we're literally giving you the platform. Yeah, Take it's, it. It's, you, you have the stage light and the microphone. Oh, oh, good one. The, yes. What about conspiracies? Ooh, wait, what? Conspiracies? Yeah. What, what about water? That, that'll just go all over the place. Yeah, conspiracies is fucking <laughs> everything. That's like, that's you know. <laughs> well, that's uh, the point. Clearly, clearly you had, like, I mean, you believe in some nonsense. Michelle Obama's a trans woman, apparently. <laughs> I, just, I just like giving some I shit. Thought that shit. I thought that shit would have died out by now, honestly. <laughs> No, because that's racism. Like some, that's like some old school fucking. But, uh, I mean, like, that's that's some stuff that you know is going to get chat going. I, I've I seen that. As soon as I see, as yeah. soon as I read it, I knew like yeah, yeah, there's like gonna, there's going to be some people that are going to be. That's because yeah, we it's like throwing a live grenade into that shit. <laughs> yeah, and that's why I don't trust you. Uh. The fact of the matter is, is that I operate a good faith space, and Gavin can attest to this. Yeah. All right. Like, I operate a good faith space. I will have the conversation at the surface of it with you for the purposes of furthering the conversation and furthering any educational endeavor therein. It's why I like to have the numbers. It's why I like to have the facts and statistics in front of me. And doing that just to troll chat makes me not trust you. Are you talking to me? Yes. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah, you're on water. Where do you want to start off on that? What's on you? That was what about what about what about what about uh Im like immigrants and I mean I guess yeah, like that's, that's, that was that's, both that was that that was like I think like when I first came in I think that was like not like the sole topic but that was like a heavy topic and it kept like yeah. fading in and out you know yeah I guess so that like, would be a good place to start then. so like I'm not saying don't come to America but like if you're gonna do it I would think do it illegal like not illegally legally don't do it illegally can and then can i then bolt on to your statement yeah i knew i knew you would because <laughs> i knew that, that, that was like an icebreaker the legal <laughs> the legal practice of immigration today is fundamentally broken and does not take into account the things we need to take into account yeah, yeah but the government doesn't want to fix it well, yeah. Is, is okay. So, can we, for the purposes of the f furthering of this discussion, right? Can we um, not use the abstract of the government? The United States. Well, no. Uh, it's not the oh. word that I have a problem with. It's oh, okay. it's the distancing um, of the understanding of the organizational structure, right? It's that sort of the government. Right. The government is just sort of this nebulous term that we use to encapsulate a variety of bureaucracies who are nothing more than humans. Right. There's, so there's, like there's an umbrella. Yeah, there, exactly. Right. There's there's no there's no like fish people who are actually like from Neptune that are like do it's us. It's that us. we know of. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, fair. It's, it's us, right? We're doing it to ourselves. 
Yeah. Right. So it's sort of that understanding of when we refer to the government, we are referring to an entity that had, if we had the political will to do so, we could change instantly. But, okay. but it is through a laziness and a downtroddenness that the populace ultimately chooses not to engage in that practice. And so populace, populace being the people. people. Well, I'm thinking more like populist. I think the immigration laws have more sway on political views on how to get votes swayed which way. Because I feel like if the political powers do one way or another, then they're going to lose, you know, half their votes. Because if they push an agenda on to keep them out, well, then most of our population are illegal immigrants. Or not most, but, you know, majority. <sighs> Guess where am I going here? Basically, I'm just saying that I feel like none of them can do either way besides letting them in because it'll be too emotional for our population. Mm. No. It has nothing to do with emotion. We'd crip our, cripple ourselves economically. Well, I mean, and both emotionally, te- both because teams you know, know you see them in prison camps and this and that, and then they put all that bad that's, out there. That's window dressing. The fact of the matter well, is, is that if the economics weren't there for it, this country runs on the dollar dollar bill, right? Like this, we know what 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 actually is at play in this country right like a, like a legal slavery we don't give two shits about anything but if you tell us there's a billion dollars to be made in it all of a sudden we give a shit right if if the economics weren't there for the practices of illegal and legal immigration as we are doing it today then it wouldn't occur it benefits the owners of this country. Yeah, but wouldn't you call that legal slavery? Oh, I mean, I'd call, dude, I'd call our entire economic system legal slavery. Are you kidding me? Right. Okay. Okay. I, I mean, if that's like what you were going at, that's what I was going yeah. at, like in a sense. Yeah. So it allows you a, a, but that's just not here. I mean, that's everywhere. Like you go over to China, like that's, I don't even know if that's legal slavery. But yeah, I'm, <laughs> but again, we can't do anything about that. Right. So, if we're measuring our ethical or moral aptitude, I don't like moralism. It's subjective, right? I prefer a good, a good old-fashioned ethical framework. To, um, but if we're measuring our ethical or moral aptitude, you can't measure so- against somebody you consider immoral or unethical, right? Like that's not how that works, right? You can't it's, measure it. But the, the, back to what Softy said, you, you measure it off of emotion mm. in my mind. How so? Just like your what you think is ethical and like what you believe in, like that all ties back into your emotion. But we know they're getting think. hired, right? Forget, forget all of the other stuff, right? They're here, right? They came here, right? Yeah, but the big push is not to forget. But 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 for, just play with me in this this all hypothetical right, right, for listening. a second, right? I'm listening. Right. I'm in the huddle. Okay. <laughs> they they came here, right? Yep. Why'd they come here? Because it's the land of the free, home of the sweet, and everybody wants to be in America. Why? Because we're free. There's really Is no it restrictions. Freedom and freedom they're we're not, after? We're not free no more. Yeah, we're not really free no more. I mean, we it's, the, we were, it's the American, it, the American uh, dream. I mean, white, it's just white, like an advertisement. Uh, in the words of commercial. George Carlin, do you know why they call it the American dream? You I have, thought that was Martin Luther King. You have to be asleep to believe it. So they come here because of the economic and societal turmoil comparatively to origination location and destination location there is more opportunity here right now if there is more opportunity for them here where is that opportunity coming from are they getting jobs yes resoundingly so yes right if they're getting jobs where is that economic driver coming from Right. Because if there wasn't that access to economic opportunity, there wouldn't be the draw. 
Or to put it another way, if home didn't suck as bad as it does, largely through our own economic and foreign uh, militaristic practices, I'm looking at you, CIA. I'm looking at you. Uh, um, <clears throat> if it weren't for our fucking around in Mexico, Central, and South America for as long as we did, and our economic practices as they are. And Iran. Take your fucking pick, but like, yeah. it, it if we wouldn't, if we didn't do that, like I said, Ecuador, <clears throat> right? Like we exported a prison gang that we now use as fear tactics. They're coming. The MS-13 is coming across the board. That's a fucking U.S. prison gang. Right. We exported that back to their home and then it went crazy there. Right. Like we create these circumstances that they are fleeing actively. OK, I, I, have a, I have a I have a I have a we need a border or not. I think you I mean, could I'm, I'm I think you Go could ahead. eliminate the need for a border because I feel like if a country does not have a border and have their own laws, it's no longer a country. OK, OK. And I, I think, feel like I now think... it's just getting a pushover. I think it, I think there needs to be a definition here. What do you consider a border? Like, are you talking about like the China Wall, or are we talking about a border that is like your laws? Because we have both, and it doesn't work. So, what 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 is really the complex or the of, of a border? Like, what what is the understanding of what a border is into a country? Is is what I'm curious about. Because you put up a wall, doesn't matter. Set laws, doesn't matter. Throw cat says throw them to the other side and they die, doesn't matter. It, I mean, I, I love I love that you rec I love that you recognize the futility of that, Gavin. Right, that like functionally a physical border will always be overcome. Oh yeah, I mean, what what. I mean, what can we, I think it's a good idea. I think it does stop someone to a certain extent, but I've worked with a lot of people and they know how to use a ladder in different things. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, you've seen the like, climbing it's not, competition. It's not, it's not like it's. Have you seen the climbing you know, competition that was held? Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah. If, it, yeah, yeah. if it's not a ladder, it's yeah, a the, tunnel. The speed, like, this, this shit doesn't work. The speed record doesn't. for climbing our border wall that Trump put up, those like the little th fucking slat things, is held by like a 13 year old girl. Yeah, but is it a good concept? That okay, that's the question. Was it a good approach or concept by Trump? Yeah. I think that's what Softy was trying to ask. Is that a good 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 no. concept? I mean, if we're approach. talking legit. If we're talking logistics, absolutely not. That shit failed in like every way no, no, possible. No, 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 no. Like, not talking about the actual structure and integrity of the wall. Was the concept to keep immigrants outside of America illegally? If you're not going to do it legally, illegally. No. No. Yeah, just... No. And I'll answer this with the war on drugs. Yeah, but drugs. You know how much. You know how much but drugs. The way I make? see like our country is let me do it. Illegal immigrants coming in, but then we got our politicians and higher powers, and just like the popes and everything, they're building walls around their homes that keep people out that would not bother them. You you know who they're oh. who they're building those walls for, though, right? Well, the no. people that live inside them. What do you mean? No, no, no. They're building them for you and me. They're not afraid of yeah. illegal immigrants. You and me, you and me plus immigrants. They're not afraid of illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants will get smacked no, down by I, ICE. I feel like, I feel like that's far fetched. They're probably they're probably hiring illegal immigrants themselves. The, 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 the reality of the situation is if you just look at like Peter Thiel because and Silicon Valley like... billionaires, they openly talk about this. They're worried about a populist uprising. That's why, why they're what, building what, those walls. What, what does that what does that tell you? They're not doing anything to stop it. That they're benefit that, that they're you? directly they're benefiting. Their own, or yeah, they're hard themselves on them. Their own. Yeah, their it's own not. Self. Yeah, it's not the. They're building it for you and I. They're worried about you and me. I feel like. Okay. I don't. I just don't. I, I don't get that because I but, feel like they're more worried about losing their own seat and power of their chairs, like in the Congress. Yeah. And where does and that I power like, go? Well, you think I'm like, talking about? Back up to the. Well, it goes back to the people. 
Uh, it should. I mean, that's how the government structure uh, the structure yeah. around the people. Yeah. So why? Were, so why? So why build a wall if we're not if they're not building a wall from the? I just don't understand and, why and other people, people, our government, should be protecting themselves from their from own the people. people. Yeah, are, well, are this, you, this is where we're getting at. Like, they're not afraid with, of, like, yeah, are you confusion. unfamiliar with the history of not only our country, but just countries? Yeah, yeah an uprising in a, in a, in a uh, terrible government. Yeah, I, I, yeah. yeah. I, I, the, if that the happens, biggest, I would the not be threat surprised. To people. Yeah, the biggest threat to people in power are the people they hold that power over. Yeah. Yeah. The biggest army in the world is the United States people. Well, the, the people that are in power are the people you don't even see. I mean, I, that's neither here nor there. That's, Point that's is, those motherfuckers yes. got walls and shit. I mean, the the, the, the uh, truth like, of the matter is that it's regulatory capture through uh, uh, billionaire uh, billionaire uh, lobbyist funds and uh, think tanks institutes. It's definitely dark money is the root of all problems, probably. And I've ranted and raved, raved enough about Southern Pacific Railroad on this topic, somewhere Marcus just grinned. Um the, it, it short, the short summary is the reason that corporations are people and that money is allowed into politics is because an obscure Southern Pacific Railroad decision that allowed entry for corporate personhood in this country. Once upon a time, we used to kill corporations in this country. It was a very we had a very real death penalty. If they committed any illegal acts, any malfeasances, donated any money to politics, any of that sort of thing, did anything outside their corporate charter, we would just fucking ax them. Our founders were terrified of corporations. They just saw the British and Dutch East India companies do what they did, right? The origination of cor uh, how corporate person uh, how corporate uh, charters were handled in this country is hilariously brutalistic. They did not trust corporations to do anything other than explicitly what they were chartered to do, and it was a long legal battle. But ultimately, it was Southern Pacific Railroad that opened the door for uh, corporate person personhood, and that's how you get your citizens united ruling so that's a sort of long short, uh, long story short version of that so yes dark money is most assuredly a problem within our political system but i would put it to you we all and we are an oligarchy but when has there been a governance that wasn't an oligarchy uh when fathers the rich and powerful people well i mean I mean, before we go down this they rabbit were all hole, landed gentry, can we my dude. Circle back to should this country have a border or not? I, well, I'm an anarchist. And I don't it, think countries should if have it borders. Does, at if all. It, 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 your answer, I want an explanation of why it should or why it shouldn't. Uh, it shouldn't. Um, because there are, and I can provide the uh, a literal book on this matter, um, there are a multitude of ethnocultural economic reasons as to why a uh, borderless world is not only the next evolutionary step in our society, our culture, and our uh, global economy, but the uh, but is a net benefit, both uh, especially economically for the native and the immigrant, um, and is functionally nothing more than an authoritarian police state measure. Um, that it tends that well, if you tends don't have to be, a border or a wall over a country, then you have no laws. That is not true at all. Yeah, yeah, but well, then you you'd have to have around. one person. You you'd have to have one person. Going to capitalism to socialism, and then everything. Gets, oh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is socialism? Socialism is everybody gets the same. So how does that work with immigration? Right, but he said. Uh, I kind of see. It's, okay, it's pushed so, towards that because if you we're went towards it, are getting cheaper and this and that. Okay. So whoever like first off, saying not that's not socialism. That socialism, may, everybody gets everything. No, that isn't same. that isn't socialism. That may be what to, socialism has been taught to you by common media. I've seen it happen. Look at look at Venezuela. Look at how that country went to hell. <laughs> yes, because everything in Venezuela was equally distributed. There wasn't anybody. There was an, no vanguardistic take anywhere. on that one whatsoever. Yeah. yeah. By the way, yeah. socialism is fundamentally. What would you, wait, 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 what would you call Venezuela then? Well, we what already are be... socialist. Like we're already a, 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 van, a vanguardistic centralized authoritarian uh, dictatorship. I don't even know if that's well. That's capitalism. Is well, that. you know what a vanguard is, right? 
No, I need we call that a vanguard. There's ba a vanguard's basically like a group of people that see themselves as above the uh, the general populace that then believe that they have the right to rule because of it. So like El Chapo. I mean, that's no, a no, no, that means it's a corporation. But... If we're, if we're going to no. draw comparisons, it'd be to be like monarchies and shit. Like, I'm they just basically... saying, any country you look at, the turn to socialism has failed. Who... So oh, monarchy yeah. would be like so Europe. So who, like, hasn't, like who, who hasn't turned to socialism? Who hasn't? Yes. Give me an example. I don't think there's anybody that hasn't yet. So the entire world is, is, is socialist. Socialism. The entire world is socialist. We're in socialism, and now we're pushing into communism. Okay, so first off, socialism is fundamentally characterized by uh, social ownership of the uh, of the means of production. That is the fu uh, number one fundamental methodology, right? Explain to explain to me how uh, how I don't know um, Would that fucking Warren Buffett's uh, private holdings yeah. are are public. So like, uh, like so like you're talking about like corporations. Well, now you're pushing into bigger you know business corps, but like no, the publicly as as traded the and publicly owned are not the same thing. The other person at the same job. That is when socialism started. When a man or a woman, whichever, was working the same job, same hours, and one was getting paid the same as the other, but one was working harder. That is socialism right there. Yeah, that's, that's not, not what socialism. That, I mean, is. That's not socialism, and that's not what's happening either. Yeah, that's, that's exactly I can definitely, I can definitely find you motherfuckers right now that are making more than each other. Yeah. That's, that, well, yeah, yeah. There are few, yeah, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying as two people that you know, you feel like you're working harder than this person, where you're getting paid the same. That's socialism. So do you? Okay. Yeah, so then, how about this? Do you believe that there's a way that we can measure the different value that people provide to their companies? Well, yeah, you just said it. It's value. It's all well, about. But value. what I'm saying is, how do you measure that value? depends on what job they're doing right but what i'm saying do you have like a mechanism in mind is there like a certain like formula that you could give me it in just, my head you just it see depends it. on what kind of job it is i guess well, yes but like you're but the, there's like an objective measure of value that you're ascribing right the, the, Oh yeah, it depends how much like value you a, bring to the workplace i feel like it'd be a personable so, value like your own like because obviously, me and value. Kai, what, what? if me and Kai own the same business and we had similar workers, he might see something in his workers than I wouldn't see in mine. So I feel like it also has to, you know, every human's different. So, like, his mind's obviously different than mine. Right. So I feel like it has something to stem from that, too. And, there, and the workers are then, therefore, the people who are generating the value for the company, correct? Well, yeah, that's how a whole business is there. Okay, so then... That's how a business is brought up. So then, like, my question is then, how much of that value that they generate should they be entitled to? Well, we don't have that option because well, that's given well, then to you go on the a whole government. Another mess there, because, <laughs> Wait, yes, so... they do might do harder work and this and that. But you're still not carrying the back weight on having everybody employed. Well, I'm, I'm not. I'm not talking necessarily like what's going down right now. I'm asking like, what would y'all in y'all's ideals world like? We had the like, say it's just like some computer program. Person X generated this amount per hour, you know, of value to the company. How much do you think they should get if the world was right and just? We're well, talking like a minimum wage kind of deal. A base. Well, no, yeah, I'm that's not, what I'm saying. There's a base. Wage. There's a base to everyone. I mean, the well, base well, is minimum wage. Well, I'm not talking minimum wage. I'm just saying, like, let's say but that's the base. That's the foundation of what we. It doesn't matter if I want to pay you six dollars an hour or you twelve dollars an hour. The base is well, the minimum wage. We don't have a no. choice of that. Well, no. What I'm asking is, like, let's say we had a company, and this company had, like, you could objectively see how much money each worker was able to make Let, let's say like there's person a b and c a person you can see in the program that you open up up, up on your computer and it says person a created 13 dollars today person b created uh seven dollars a day person c created like five Sh what, what should each of those persons i really say? i do feel like people yeah. should get off the hour based and get a percentage based like of the business like a percentage of the business a percentage of the percentage of the business. That's I mean, I hell, think. you're a socialist then. No, no. Man. That's what that is. You, you're, you're talking, you're about, talking you're, about the you're, workers you're, you're owning business. the means of production at that point. Yeah, you're talking you about are literally the workplace. You are in Marx territory oh at that God. point. 
Your yeah, that's literally, that's literally socialism. Yeah. Takes the risk on everything. Your employee, well, well, you're advocating for active Marxism up. at this point. I'm not joking. Yeah. I'm not fucking with you. It's what yeah, you're I, doing. I, I, you literally just described to me what like Marx wrote about and like the Communist Manifesto and like what he wrote about. Like you, I my know. friend, are, like that's a what straight up socialist has been built on. No, it's, so I mean, I, kind of, no, it's no. not. I got a question. I got a question. I got a question. Right, what's up? What's up? What's so, up? So I work for a company. We mm-hmm. get paid hourly, but we're also yes. paid a percentage of the company in stocks. Yes. What would you consider that? If if it was like proportional to the amount of value that you, what's it called, uh, that you generated for that company? Like, let's no, say you it's made... not. It's not. It's not. So like 20 years ago. There's people graduate or not graduating, fucking retiring now with millions. But like, if I went yes. there and graduate, or I don't want to keep saying, well, no, well, I'm retired, saying like, I would graduate with probably eighty percent less than they would, even yes. though their stocks are higher now. Well, no, well, no I, I understand what you're ago. saying. I'm just saying, like, if if we're talking like the situation where you're actually being paid what you were generating for that company. You made them ten dollars an hour, and you got them ten dollars an hour. Like you, you could actually track that shit, and you were paid a percentage of ownership that reflected as such. That'd be straight up. That would be socialism. So basically, what you're saying is, you guys want the employees to get the pay the same amount as the boss. Well, I, not, I, not, I, well oh, what oh, I'm oh, saying oh, is, it's oh, more no, no, like no, no, every no. employee. Please, up, please ahead. let me. I don't want there to be a boss. Yeah. Then who's gonna run it? Oh, see, the, here's the, the idea. Okay, so let me do a little thought experiment. Like Some people you. don't even want to have Yeah, yeah, that yeah, whatever. Back. Let me do a little thought experiment. Can you imagine a manager that can't fire somebody? No, they're all over the place. That's why you have shitty workers. <laughs> I mean, that wouldn't be a smart ass. That was not like, I, mean, like I, I deal with that in real life. So, we're talking about like, managers. Why are we talking about managers? Because... Can you imagine a company owned by the workers? No, I thought that would, in my head, that's what I've been taught. That is, like, that's, that's like, like, how, like socialism causing communism. You get a banana, you get a banana, you get a banana. Are they going to train and be financially smart? On did you, how to run a did you know that almost every business school in this, uh, in this world will teach you one of the most resilient types of a business is a worker owned cooperative? They survive economic downturns more reliably, performatively, and they have higher rates of satisfaction, both customer, uh, customer and employee-based when, uh, when polled. And this is in multiple countries that this proves. Okay, out. how many people that went to college or business school are actually business owners? A lot less. Again, the truth of the matter is, have you ever engaged with a worker-owned co-op? Yeah. Okay, which one? Name it. I own a business. Well, no, worker A worker-owned like, cooperative. I have not okay. seen a worker own a business, either because they do not want to or they cannot comprehend how to do it. Okay, that was an interesting take. Um, <laughs> I mean, you never, I mean, you never have their own tractor supply? All, it's not yeah, like all, all workers are inherently in stupid. <laughs> you know? Yes. That is that they workers are incapable of this. Um, okay, so I'm not saying they're incapable. They just no. That's literally what you said. <laughs> I mean, well, now you're twisting words. Um, the, I said, dude, they don't want to learn it. The uh, Mondragon Corporation in uh, Spain, though, has transitioned to a certain degree, is a, a worker-owned cooperative that employs uh, seventy-four thousand one hundred and seventy people and has an a, and actively is an umbrella for two hundred and fifty-seven companies and organizations spanning finance, industry, retail, and knowledge. They employ eighty-one thousand five hundred and seven people a, as of two thousand and nineteen. Five hundred people. 81,507. How, How many people was in that class? What? They, uh, their total assets are 24.725 billion euros, and they're a worker-owned cooperative. So they're hiring... So you're basically saying they're hiring people for their own business? To run the business? Yes. Yes. 
The workers yeah, own, that's, that's vote, what... and control the company that pays them. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, so okay. They, How would that not be a union? That can learn it. Oh, oh, oh Gavin, okay. Gavin, no, 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 Gavin, no, 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 no. Gavin, Gavin. How is that different Gavin, than a union? Gavin, it's, it's actually the end conclusion of syndicalism, which is syndicat from the French for trade union. It's the end logical conclusion of the trade union. Yeah, basic, basically like... If you're going to have the workers organized to bargain for your rights with the owner of a business, and that union basically represents the interests of the workers and basic effectively runs the business for that owner, so it's a why, union. Not, why not just let those workers own the business then and equally own it together? So if you started a business yes, and you worked your ass off and it was just by yourself in your garage and you've done yeah. all of this work for five years... And then you start making enough money, you need more people, you need to, you know, make more products, whatever. And then you just think that these people that need a job. Why? Because you work hard. Split it with you. Do you think you get to be exploitative? So because you didn't do shit so, to start the business. So, so because, because I got rest. abused, I get to abuse you. So start your own business. But you see well, the, the failure of logic here, right? I know, I'm not understand. I, I, I'm not being a dick. I, I just don't understand. I'm not uh, understanding. Well, let me put it like this: If you already see the need for other workers to either a expand your business or make it even possibly run, you've already admitted that it's an operation that you yourself can no longer handle on your own, and therefore. You know, for the benefit of yourself, or simply just to get the product out to whatever the case may be, you. So you think you, you instead of adding employees, you should add business partners. Basically, yeah. yeah, and those partners will handle you, and your partners will basically handle the operation of that business. And it doesn't have to be just for free. Instead of just hiring them, you can also have. There's also like, there's also worker cooperatives that believe in like, say, buying into the business and then becoming a worker on top a of it. A stock. Well, not a stock. You'd be an active employee. Yeah, but so you, what you, I am, that's, that's the way I explained earlier. Okay, I get so paid do you, by the hour do you know and I get a percentage of the stock. Do you know there's a difference between a, a voting share versus a dividend share? I don't know. Okay, so yeah. a voting oh, dividend is paid on yearly. Yes, on whatever a, percentage a voting is. share gives you the ability to direct the company. Yeah. Right? The dividend merely pays you out. Yeah. The dividend because the dividend is basically just the profit that is made by that. We're business. arguing for both. So in a sense, so in a sense, it would be buying your shock share out, shock share out, reducing you to your original value in the company. But it it doesn't really mean much as far well, as yeah, because a business then, partner. Well, yeah, exactly because then the company expands. And so you still have a similar amount of value. You just basically oversee less of the operation because uh, of it. And yeah. let me follow this through to its logical conclusion for you. All right. All of the things that you guys have been complaining about that are problematic in this country. I wouldn't say complaining. No, no, no. It's just it, it, whatever, whatever word you want to ascribe to this. The dark money in politics. Billionaires running amok powerful oligarchs that get to dictate how our society runs well, the, know that. the thought process that allows that to occur is the thought process that started with your hypothetical why can't i be the one why can't i be the one who receives all the benefits why because can't i be the, one? the effort except do they they don't it you that's can't why grow you don't up to do whatever succeed. you want to be. See, you only can grow up to what you put your mind to. No, you know, I'm not, not going to pay somebody a hundred dollars who doesn't do shit and sit on their phone. But again, you're missing the you're missing the fundamental point of exploitation. Here. I just feel like you guys want everything for free for everybody. I'm literally talking about buying into a business to become a partial business owner. What yeah, part but of I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not. I, I'm not meaning to come across like I mean. I'm not meaning to come across aggravated. Like I'm, like, I'm just not understanding the difference between an employee and a so-called, like, let's say me and Kai started a business, or I started, let's say Kai started a business, he brought me on, 
because he was better at something and I was better at the other. And when we collided, the business grew exponential. Yes. And we knew we needed employees. We needed this. We need to get this done. Everything's going great. Our employees, we take care of our employees. They have all benefits. We do all this. We do this. We're great. We love it. Our our employees, are all employees going to be happy? No. And there's always things you can fix. But how is that different than having a business partner? I mean, technically you are a business partner. You just don't have the capability to decide we're going to turn is, this, sheen, is this, dictatorship this shirt bad? black to pink or is dictatorship pink to bad? blue. Is dictatorship bad? Yes, it's horrible. Okay. Good about then it. why are you advocating for financial dictatorship? That is what... I guess you're trying to twist the words. No, I'm not. The reason that all of those like jobs went overseas, on like big business the reason all of those jobs went overseas was because the workers didn't get a say in the business, but the yeah, owners but who wanted did. to keep them here was Trump. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop getting <laughs> I knew that. I knew that would get you. <laughs> um, that yeah, anyway, uh, that alone I'm made me want to pull the plug on this conversation. I'm not joking. I, I know. I, I'm sorry. I, I just knew the that ownership you. class made the decision because it was more financially beneficial to their bottom lines to ship the jobs somewhere okay. else. But I the workers didn't get and a say the, in the matter. You're missing it. You're missing Owner, it. Ownership class. Know. Ownership the class. I need a definition, definition of ownership class. To buy. Okay, y'all are talking at the same time, one than the other. <laughs> yes, it would be cheaper for the business owner. That's a nobody would rethink that anyway. I don't care who you are. But then again, it would be cheaper for the consumer who's getting the product. How is well, that yeah, worked I mean, out either. long term? Can you imagine? buying something no 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 Ex- right now right now how has that worked out long term how's how's uh the, how are the costs on goods these days how's your grocery bill looking exactly it's all imported ain't it we're talking about we, costs. We, we're talking about the exportation of these goods service and, and manufacturing sector of yeah, course we're all importing these goods it. are import so yeah. so the process by which those became importations and then were the de- ones that are more expensive are the ones that are done and grown whatever in this land in the united states because we undermined the industry to start with you shot yourself in the <laughs> foot and you're complaining you're bleeding no, really not i don't know where you try to go off from that i literally just said the reason that things need to get the order for cheaper you're encouraging corporate greed for the ships and everything for it to come back you're encouraging corporate greed and complaining about corporate greed you're sitting here twisting words i don't know why you're doing that so so are, are we talking about tariffs well no what we're talking about is that Basically, the reason why these corporations could get away with uh, essentially putting them businesses overseas is because the workers themselves didn't get a say in the matter. They basically just had to go with whatever the businesses, the decisions uh, of the of the business owner, because they just they don't really have a say in the matter cause they because they don't have a stake in it. Because it was cheaper for the owner. Well, you move it no, to Mexico under- or whatever, you're obviously yes. going to make more money. I understand. I understand. Yeah. That. What I'm saying is that, but the reason why he was able to just go without a hitch, you know, people just get laid off and they're just done, is because the workers themselves don't have an owning stake in the matter. They don't get an actual voice or representation. Whatever the business, the higher ups decide to do, that's just how it's going to go. Would the workers have voted their jobs overseas? No. Yeah. Bingo. 65%, according to San Francisco Fed, 65% of inflation at present is due to literal corporate greed. <laughs> Provided by a finance, uh, financial and economics okay. expert in chat right now who does this shit for a living. Like, this is, who gets paid m- very good market rate for doing this, by the way. Like, this is, and providing links to it. Fucking... We're literally talking about how encouraging that initiating impulse in people that I should get more than my fair share is derogatory and 
just causes the problems that you have that you're you're actively like you you're like this is a problem this is a problem this is a problem yeah and saying that people get to do whatever they want because maybe they happen to have the name founder on their business card is bad for all of us except that dude that dude's going to be the next jeff bezos he's going to be the next bill gates Right. Never mind the crimes they committed. <laughs> Never mind the fact that they didn't pull themselves up by their bootstraps. Never mind the fact that Bill Gates, uh, th- that Warren Buffett was shown uh, through the the floor of uh, 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 the New York Stock Exchange by the president of the New York Stock Exchange at the behest of his congressional father. He's a he's just a bootstrapped billionaire. Never mind the fact that like all of these motherfuckers have this stupid rags to riches story that people buy and they think I can be the next billionaire. Really? Is your mom on the board of directors of the United Way with uh, with uh, one of the IBM uh, directors? No? Um, good luck with that. Bill Gates' origin story. Right? That impulse that you have to be like, I own it all. It's mine. Rather than distributing that through the people who are actively working in the company, who are making you that profit, who are earning you that living, who are putting the fucking boat on your boat ramp. Right. Rather than saying, hey, why don't we collectively make this decision? You're arguing for an authoritarian dictatorship. You're arguing for a vanguard. You're arguing for five or seven dudes who get to say my word is law, no matter if that means 10,000 workers get fired. No matter that we move over our manufacturing to some godforsaken location that doesn't even know what the concept of human rights are and are just going to be chewing bodies through bodies uh, through machines because it's cheaper and we can put the product at fucking Walmart. Never mind that blood stain. Right. right? But the- you you want to you want to say that's the president in the military. We absolutely you want, you want, would. We absolutely yes, I'm an anarchist. Would. The entire yeah, fucking fuck. thing needs thrown out. There's a reason that I call this channel proudly radical. Radical meaning fundamental or systemic change, especially that within a political system. Oxford English Dictionary def, uh, second definition. I don't like any of this. Let's go, Brandon. Let's go. Right. But if we're going to talk about the reality of the situation, you need to talk about the economics of the situation, because where do you think all this fucking military money's coming from? That's right? why we left six billion in Iran. If we're not fucking it's not falling out of the fucking sky, is it? Well, in the case of drones dropping well, bombs it is, on it fucking, is, it yeah. is out of our pockets, yeah. not the well, illegal immigrants. So well, please, well, they, the pay more, pay they pay more sure. taxes than a lot of us. Oh, just because they go fucking buy beer or a fucking Butterfinger and they pay taxes on it doesn't mean that. Oh, no, 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 no. The IRS, the us. IRS takes taxes on uh, illegal gains as well. Did you know that you can get away like drug dealers pay taxes as well? Like yeah. this is yeah, you mark it down as ill gotten gains. Bro. Yeah, yeah, that's a that's an actual tax. Filing ill-gotten gains. Why? Why would? Why would you do that? Oh, because, because you want they, you, because they seize your shit. If yeah, you yeah. Don't. The IRS because not. Al Capone rule. You would rather the fucking SWAT team come for you. You would rather fucking the 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 FBI come for you than the IRS. Yeah, because the, the IRS technically isn't a branch of our government. They have their own fucking legal protections and all that other yeah, shit. Yeah, they'll go after you. Yeah, you would. The, you would much rather have fucking the the Navy SEALs knocking on your door than you would the IRS. Yeah. And even drug kingpins know this, right? Like this is it's a very real thing in our country. Yeah, no, that's it's it's just a non-issue. The truth of the matter is, is that where the majority of the money is being pissed away and just drained down is through corporate greed. It's through our biotech and pharmaceuticals industry. It's the fact that we pay more for healthcare than anybody else in the world, and we have worse outcomes as a result of it. Texas is now ranked worse in maternal uh, uh, mortality rates than several African nations. Not a great look, guys. Not a great look, right? Like the fact that we just piss military money away we don't have money for building uh, for fixing our bridges never mind the fact that the you know the uh whatever uh i forget who did the uh, bridge uh, bridge and infrastructure assessment which uh, group architects and engineers um never mind the fact that the majority of our infrastructure is falling the fuck apart we got bullets and bombs money though we got fucking 1.2 million dollars per patriot missile 
Not even fucking dropped, delivered. You want that missile? $1.2 million, homie. You can get it for a steal maybe at nine seventy five, dollars right? Put it on a plane and drop it somewhere? Ooh, that gets expensive, right? We just toss those by the hundreds. You know, that we we always got bullets and bombs money. We always got enough for to subsidize the petrochemical industry, even though they're a multi, multi trillion dollar entity. They definitely need the billions of dollars from us. Right. They're just so hard up. What would Shell and Exxon do without our fucking uh, without our subsidies? Right. Like we completely encourage and support and subsidize this level of corporate corruption and greed to the point where it has captured our system. Regulatory capture has occurred. Like it's just done. Like they can do. Fuck, we all know what happens. Fuck, you go in and it's like, hey, you take the ten thousand, take a ten thousand uh, dollar check to Congress, and you got yourself a congressman, right? Fifty thousand for a senator, no big deal. And if they oppose you, you'll just ru- you'll back a candidate. You'll drop a couple million into a a, a counter candidate's uh, uh, fund, and you'll get them elected big deal. That shit happened ages ago. It's done, paid for. And so that fundamental greed, that fundamental authoritarian impulse that humans feel that I should be the one in charge, I should be the one who gets the final say, is the same impulse that metastasizes into the problems we have very at, at, at a global scale. I think I think that was the wrong thing. It's not that metastasizes the problems we have, it's into the Literally every single human being. Well, that's my point. That you want to be in power. That's yeah, my that's, point. That's what metastasizing. So it, 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 it's something you're never going to get rid of. Well, but, but, but you don't need to get rid of it. You need to take it into account and not exploit it. But why wouldn't you? Why, be, what, what's be, gonna, why what, wouldn't what, you? Look if around. If you're making millions of dollars, why would you just be like, hey, here you go, strange illegal immigrant. I'm going to give you. A hundred thousand dollars because I made a hundred. Why is it always immigrants for you? Why can't it be just well? Because we started, we started work? on the immigrant thing, and that and that's just been the top. Like, I mean, so the I truth of the matter is, I this applies. Saying, if you're showing socialism, why don't you give back to all your viewers? Okay, and who I raid out every fucking night. Uh, I distribute my viewers across channels all the time so to to less. Your money? Oh, oh! You want to talk about the the amount that comes in on this channel? What little amount? That's just, that's it gets what I'm it gets completely that's donated. What that's what you're putting out there. Yes, that's not, but that's yeah, yeah. Like homie, like I, yes, like I, I yes, I I've implemented a mod system in our channel that gives the power to timing people out and untiming people out. So right? You don't take the majority of the percentage. No, I not at all. Okay. Like I'm actually living my truth and I'm telling you, your impulse is what gets you your Joe Biden or your Bill Gates or whoever your bogeyman is at the moment, right? It's that impulse. And rather, yeah, yeah. rather I than- I don't care who's in power. It doesn't affect me at all. Yeah, not not at sure, all. sure. Down. Okay. Yeah, sure it doesn't. Not a, not a bit, not yeah, a single not bit. A bit. Not a it bit. It really don't. Yeah, sure. It's, uh, Okay. <laughs> you have been nothing but bad faith and like intentionally this whole no, time. I've just been hearing a ring around the whole night. Well, what's the ring around? Give us give us the blueprint. For I mean, the we discussion. go to one story and then we go to the next. And then it it's rings not a ring around, bro. It's, we were going on immigrants and now all of a sudden we're about it. Well, I mean, you, well, part of the problem that we brought up with immigrants was something that, like, you know, the big problem as to why, you know, companies keep hiring them. And, it, it, you know, like, it all kind of interconnects with one another. All these issues are interrelated. There's nothing that you know, happens in isolation. No, the immigrants magically fell out of the sky, Cat. We need to talk about them and only them in no relation yes. to our economy, taxes, governance, historical context, how, we, uh, how they ended up as migrants, all of that. Just, just, just brown people take jobs. That's it. I never, right. I don't know. I, where got, I, I got a question. <laughs> Look, I, I'm just saying. All this all kind of comes together. We can, you know, there's the, all these things kind of flow together. The different positions will inform how you feel about other positions. If we, if no country, okay. I, just, I have a question for you, Kai. Uh, this is like a common collective question. It's just, I'm curious. So if no countries anywhere had borders, 
and we were talking about how all humans mm -hmm. want to be in power. Mm -hmm. Do you not think one person would eventually or multiple people or humans would want to be in power of the world? Do you think there aren't already? I mean, there, to a certain extent, yeah, for sure. Okay, so but why, why are you no letting borders, perfect get in the way of good? Right. But why, why do what, Americans, what are, when they make this argument, why are we unable to see that improvement is improvement and that since it's not perfect, we shouldn't do it? What, when, well, did, when did Americans not, become so utopian-brained? It's not, it's, you know, it's not perfect in, Mex in Mexico or a D Venezuela or any other country. So that's why people come to the United States. Do you States think we're think perfect? Better. No, but okay. they think we're perfect. No, no, they don't. Yeah, they absolutely Then why no, do they, they come don't. here? It must this be is, better. This, is, this, this is terrifying. The fact they, that must think it, they must think it's better. Or else why, it's why are there so many immigrants opportunity. coming Opportunity. Opportunity. Okay. So they don't have opportunity there. They have yeah. more here. So why aren't we focusing on the opportunities that are in Mexico or Venezuela or all these other companies? Why Holy do you want to leave your homeland? Bro, I cannot believe that you are speaking our language and then like refusing to see it. Because like that that's part of the reason no, no, why no, no, I don't want to no, get no, no. it. I'm not I'm not arguing against you. I'm trying to understand. No, 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 I, why I would understand. If, we'll, if you're okay. if you if you're me, a full blood let me, let me, Hispanic let me. culture, you grew there, you got eight generations there, and oh. it's just gotten so shit with everything going on. Why would you want to, like, I understand there's opportunity here, but why Why would you not want to focus on fixing your own country and well, making mean, your own well, country can, better? Well, you, I mean, I could speak to this as someone who, you know, family I'm from not there. Saying, I'm, not saying, well, I'm not I mean, saying it in a negative way either. No, no, no. I, I understand. Let me, well, let me let me give you some perspective as someone who's, a, you know, a child of these people. You know, I am Mexican. Like, I think so. Soy, you know, soy Mexicano, hermano. Pero, como se dice, uh, what do you say? Like, I mean, a big reason why is just like, look, a couple families here and there is just not what's going to be the difference maker in a lot of these places. And a lot of these problems are external. They don't find themselves just originating in Mexico. You know, that, that's, the, that's the big issue is that when you're talking about solving an entire country's issues, you know, those borders start to matter a lot more because, you know, they come from those issues come from everywhere. You know, like, for example, like uh, with Mexico in particular, a big problem, a big problem as to why like cartels are so successful is simple. The U.S. dollar is worth a lot fucking more, and one of the easiest way you get money from gringos, it's gonna be, it is going to be through that fucking drug trade and shit. So like, since there's so many laws that make it so easy for a black market to pop up here in the states, it only makes sense that you know Mexicans, Mexicans and other places are gonna want to get some of them, some of them U.S. dollars while they can. So well, it's yeah, I mean, thing. you're also, you know, with all that money, you're gonna be buying U.S. things. Because well, yeah, I, I honestly don't think the U.S. the U.S. government actually wants drugs to be out of the United States, because drugs is probably one of the you know that brings a lot of money to the government. Well, yeah, over, that I mean, is, over that, time. Well, see, but that's what I'm saying. Though, is like this isn't just an issue you solve in Mexico. That drug trade is always going to be there, whether you stay or not. Because so why isn't it in America though? You know what I mean? Well, like, I mean, we do have a drug trade know, here in the states. I know, I, I know. You. Oh, I know. But like a, a, such a dominant. <laughs> Force. Like we don't have cartels. I mean, you guess you call them gangs. Like cartels are I mean, a lot larger than gangs running it, around. It depends. It. I mean, I mean, we could get into it, but like you know, poor I'm just trying to like, understand. Like, why would you? Why wouldn't you want to fix your own, your country instead of? I don't know. I. Well, I mean, it's like the thing is that like. In order to solve a lot of these issues, that would be, you know, I'm just going to speak to Mexico because that's the one that I'm familiar with and shit. But, uh, como se dice, um, like, you know, these are issues that, for one, a lot of lives are going to be lost. You know, a lot of kids are going to be left without their parents. A lot of fucking, you know, and they're multi-generational issues. So it's like they're issues that wouldn't even be solved in your lifetime. And then, of course, the big one is just, you know, you already got kids. You already got family. It's not, you know, it's noble to want to sacrifice yourself for the cause and what what have you but like you know at the end of the day if you could just hop a border find some work you know your kid's gonna end up being a citizen or potential kid what what have you 
And in know, a sense, not can, have a target on your back, Gavin. Yeah. Exactly. You Gavin, just you just you become another person in the crowd. You, you know? have you kids, just... Gavin. How do you not understand this? Would you stay? No, I probably wouldn't. Oh, you know what I mean? I mean, well, exactly. I, I, like I under I know. Well, there you go. Don't you take just... it. Don't take it as I'm not understanding it. But like, if like that's like your. Dude, I mean, I, I, I'll tell you straight up because that's like that's the like, Indian. Like, okay, you think about okay, we we went way back. We we came or the English came over here. We yeah, rooted lot, out the Indians. Of- we rooted we, we rooted out the Native Americans, and I mean, they still fight back every day. I mean, they still. I mean, I mean I'm not saying they Mexican- shouldn't. I'm not saying they shouldn't. Well, but, what I'm saying is, like, there's Mexicans that also stay back. I mean, right now, the newest president's making a lot of moves to fucking help the Mexican economy. But again, this is like, you know, we're, like, for example, my own parents, fucking, like, they fucking came here way back when, like, in the 80s and shit, and a lot of people have fucking died staying back. Like, you know, they're one of the survivors. Yeah. Well, two, you don't, I mean, you don't, point you is, don't see Native Americans hopping on planes flying to Germany. Germany or actually you do. Or there, or there's Mexico. a big there, there actually is a pretty big uh what's it called the uh, population of Native Americans in Germany specifically. I and likewise I mean, there's I, also I Mexicans. That out there. I mean I didn't I didn't I just threw well, it no, out there. But, but what I'm saying is like there are definitely people that are just like, you know what, fuck this. I want to provide for my family now and that's just what it's gonna be. I don't care where it's gonna be, but I just want good for my kids and shit. Like that that's just the, you know, when you when you get when you birth a child in this world you know that that becomes your life and shit that though that's your that's your fucking baby my boy like that that's how the like that that is who that is what your life's goal is going to be is to is to take care of that child i mean correct yes i agree i mean that that's just what it is so it's like you know that that's how that's how these people end up here is because you know like are you gonna stay back and become a target of the corrupt government the cartel because Ultimately, solving those issues means stopping those businesses for those already murderous armed people who already control large, large swaths of the of the country. You know, you're basically signing up for a war, even if you're not a combatant. Okay, so do you, you know, think the United States is kind of heading that way, or no? I mean, yeah, it's, there's there's a lot of people that go through violence here in in, in America for being. I mean, no, 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 like the cause. government, like our structure, everything going on over the years. Yeah, well, what decades. I'm saying is like it's already it's already happened. Is that what we're heading in? We're heading into well, something. No, I'm like saying that? we've we have always been there. Like, you know, we can go back to Vietnam and we can look at those anti-war protesters getting shot in front of that college. We can look at, you know, we can look at people being kidnapped in various protests over the years like that. Like violence is just a part of politics. There's no you're never going to get no one's just going to willingly give up their power because the law just says, all right, well, it's your turn's done. You know, that's human nature. Well, yeah, that's kind of what I'm getting at. So it's like so that that's like kind of the issue is like like rounding it all back around, you know, not giving the runaround, but just looping back to the original point. Uh, como se dice, like, that's part of the issue is that you see, like, the fact that people were allowed to carry all that power, were allowed to get all that, that ability to do violence to begin with, is what perpetuates the cycle because there just comes a point when people are just like, fuck that, I'm not going to fight that. So, you know, so, they, they so just... will we, so will we be the border not to jump in the future? I mean, if, if there was no border, people could freely move between each other and people were actually able to help each other. There could be a time where, like, there are certain places, like, in Mexico where they, you know, that would be the place to go. Like, for example, you're seeing, like, you know, like, going back to the place. Like, right now, a lot of people are actually moving to uh, Tijuana, which is, you know, it's a city nearby nearby L.A. <laughs> because ch- rents are so much cheaper yeah, there that, like, it. it's just, it's easier to just start a new life there and fucking just, you know, yeah. say, fuck it, we're Mexican now. The, the, it's the gen- it's the, just cheaper. The gentrification influx, I've seen those, the, 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 you know. Oh, yeah, bro, Latino, there's a lot of Latino Mexicans Twitter that are mad about fucking, that shit. Yeah, they're pissed. They're pissed. <laughs> yeah, because the, cause the thing is that, like, there was a time and a day in Tijuana, like, literally, like, two years ago. Like, I'm talking, this is something that's just started, like, fucking... Two years ago, you could get you like a little three bedroom apartment in a nice area of the town and you'd be paying something like only like five, like 300, 350 a month sort of shit. And since California's have started moving in, you're looking at those rents fucking quickly shooting up to like 750. Mind you, still way cheaper than anywhere in fucking but, Cali. But, but, but power of people knowing that you're taking advantage of people fleeing an area, going to an area and then 
you're raising the rent. Yeah, it's not keeping it's, out what it was. Well, see, it's not right, but the reason why that rent's raising is because right. they know that that's going to be a premium area because of that border. Americans right, have just like border. America, the entire America is a premium area for these people going right. into Right, well, that, that's kind of the thing, is that what you do is that if you get rid of that border, not as much... I mean, there'd probably still be some type of regulation, some type of check, you know, just ways to kind of make sure people are moving fine throughout a given place. But, like, if you don't have that there, then that premium kind of wears off a little bit in both directions because they just know that, well, fuck it, we could just go to the other side and it's all cool. But I doubt there will ever be a time that when one side is equal to the other side. Basically, Mexico would have to adopt the dollar across its entire you, country. You tell, you tell me what they would have to, could? I mean, yeah, well, but, like, I mean, you do realize... Vice versa. You do realize that speaking to a Californian where you're from is essentially an, uh, is a Mexican speaking to an American. Yeah. Right. Like this is, this is like legitimately within our own country's borders, the state borders define this level of access to healthcare, economic opportunity and uh, developmental cycles within uh, multi-generational families. Like the truth of the matter is, is that California is like the world's sixth largest economy. It kicks the shit out of many countries, right? It doesn't even like the there. Most of the states in this country can't even compare to it. It is functionally Mexico versus the U.S. Right, and so like that sort of economic disparity exists within our own country. Yet the borders are completely. Completely transparent. You could just walk across the border between any of our states. There, you can move without asking for permission, without gaining because entry. Because you're legally first. there. I mean, there's different but laws. And you're different missing things, the you're point again. You're legally in the United States. You're system. missing the point again. Legally, is the, the key dis- point. The economic and cultural disparity between Mississippi and California is is vast as probably more vast, but is as vast as Mexico versus the U S yeah, but you're, you're just as valid. If there's a Mississippi lawyer that moves to California and rules on your case that you're a murderer, it's still the same verdict. Whether there's a California lawyer that moves to Mississippi because you guys are all United States citizens, right? You are legal. So right. no, so it's not vast. No, I mean, well, well, then why don't we just extend my, that? To the Mexico? culture, the culture may be vast. That, but my but point the United is, States if you, citizens if you reaches unify from every those systems corner. and drop that border, the same cultural dis- and economic disparities exist, but without the legalese hindering it. Would it even be the United States then? Would Who you gives want to a shit? Fuck else? this country. Yeah, I don't, uh, yeah, I don't really. Uh, the fuck it. <laughs> we might have, like, because I mean, that's the thing. Is like, why? Why does it have to stay the United yeah. States if it's better for everyone? Who cares? <laughs> Fucking who gives I mean, a shit? Why does it have to stay Mexico? Right? Yeah. Who can fucking, I mean, who cares about fucking some line that somebody I don't know who I've never had any attachment to drew on a fucking map because they could. Well, that's the reason you can do what you can do today. No, it isn't. Exactly. No, it isn't. Okay, then move to fucking Iraq or Iran. And then you get a wife there that can't ever show her face. Or you you go to some other country and there's all these other laws. You do realize. The whole reason people come to the United States is because it is the land of the free. Oh, That's why everybody comes you're here. Redacted That's why there shit. Isn't. You're redacted you're, They're not coming because it's free. They're not coming because it's yeah, free. It matter. I, I guarantee oh, you. I can, holy get, I can get away shit. with way more shit in Mexico than I can here yeah. in the States. Let oh me tell you, my God. boy. Oh, my God. buddy. Now why are they coming then? Because money. Yeah, because we got we got economic opportunities that they don't have. It's not free. No one gives a shit about the freedom. Most people, most people living in America will never experience true freedom. I'll give you that. I'll tell you that right now as someone who's traveled outside of this bitch. Fucking, whew. Like, let me put it like this. Fucking over there in Mexico, there's there's a there's some places out there where it's just untapped fucking rainforest, completely unincorporated land, and there ain't fucking government officials or police for fucking miles, my boy. Land is fucking hella cheap out there. You want to fucking live your fucking wildest dreams and shit, and you have the money to fucking pay for it? I guarantee you, you can get away with way more shit than you ever could here in the states. But that's the key phrase there, if you got the money for it. 
you know. Like, we're not free to pay. Like, we're not, you know, pay to win. Sorry. Like, we're not fucking but like, pay to But if you're illegal, you get free health care, you get a cell phone, you get... I you mean, you that, get... not always. I will oh, no. say... It's, you know, it's, it's, it's a government law. Well, it's not. It's not, though. No, oh, it's not? No, no. It, it's oh, it's okay. certain mandates in certain cities and certain counties and all that shit, but how, I How do we you, define freedom? Exactly what you're doing right now. Go, go, I mean, over, to, oh, go, oh, go so over to we're, Korea. We're just go over to we, Korea we could, we could and, and speak Korea. like this. We could do this in Korea. We absolutely yeah, okay. could. Yeah, no, okay. you, bro, you, Korea is one of the most uh, free countries in the world. It actually it's like it's, it's doing really good these days. <laughs> like okay, so like so what are, what are we doing? Like um, freedom of movement, freedom of religion, freedom of as uh, association, assembly, expression, identity, relationships. Um, like, hey, I, I tell you what, move over, move over there to so, Palestine and, and, and claim it. So you're how a about Jew. Switzerland? I want to see what happens. There are, there are how Jews about New Zealand? Right how about Denmark? Yeah. How about Estonia yeah, or ones. Ireland or Canada or Hello. Finland or Australia or Sweden or Luxembourg? All more free than us. I also maintain these freedoms also are in Mexico. You can be a fucking, uh, the, 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 a Taoist fucking trans fucking monk living in the middle of like some fucking forest okay. in Guadalajara and be fine. So, okay, go be a gay man in Russia. To I mean, I can. No, you can't. You got no, no, you can't you. open you can't openly be a gay man in Russia. So you got to use your specific so, language. Man. Well, so actually your, there, there your, are there your, are protections for gay people in Russia, but that's your, neither here nor there. Your you you follow football, right, Gavin? College football, yes. Okay, so oh, you motherfuckers. So, 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 do you rank? Do you judge your football team based on the performance of the worst football team? I I, I perform mine on whatever my fantasy football is on because they stop, have fantasy. Stop dodging the question. And stop it. dodging the premise. Okay, you judge, hey, okay, okay, okay. You judge okay, them yeah, based. You judge I, I, them I watch, based on I competition. Watch, Right? I watch golf. I watch golf. Let's go with golf. I know golf. Whatever. Do you judge do you judge the person based on the worst performers or the best performers? It depends on who Your I goal like. is to be number one, right? Your goal is to win, right? Not particularly. I, I mean if well, some yeah, guy's a douche. I mean, come on. That's if some question. guy's a douche, I ain't gonna like him. If he's a cocky dude who's always winning first, fuck you, like, I ain't, I ain't fuck gonna... you. Fuck you. You, <laughs> you don't understand the question. You Go understand on. what's going on and you're just actively avoiding it. You do not judge yourself <laughs> based on the worst. You judge yourself based on your competition or the best. But that would be that would be saying like, okay, who's your favorite football team? Well, whoever won the Super Bowl. How did our team it's that like I root fan for, or how does our team <laughs> that I root for perform against me. the number one ranked? Well, we beat him this year. Who? I don't think you're capable of keeping up with this conversation. No, I, I, I got to be perfectly I'm listening. Honest. I'm listening, but like you got like you you like keep in my comparing mind, like, I like teams. you keep comparing I like teams, our nation. Like, I don't want you keep I don't comparing want America to a shithole. Okay, no, you, so are we? You just said fuck America. So, exactly, but should you be <laughs> comparing? Shouldn't you be comparing America against somebody that they're competitive against? Yeah, Russia. I, I, uh, Russia is not competitive with America. Iran and anybody who our These president places. deems that we're going to go spend billions and trillions of dollars on. I guess. Anyway, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah. I just I just switched over. I I, yeah. I refuse to engage with anybody who is that intellectually dishonest or at least yeah, not able to yeah. keep up like that. That is ridiculous. Yeah.